Yeah, man. Greetings once again. Uh, yeah, man. Greetings once again. Uh, we've been having these chats for quite some time now. And, uh, as the kwa kosa gutua iyeza lo mtu lise mlo nyen sinyanga it's important that we, that we talk about certain issues. It's important that we talk about certain things that we face in a band. And it's very important that when we talk about these things, Sikulumengazo very objectively, Sikulumengazo from an open mind, Sikulumengazo from a mature uh, perspective, because ultimately, if we do not confront certain issues or we do not tackle certain issues, we are going to be left with the problem of forgetting where we lost the train of thought or forgetting where we lost the essence of who we are. But go to Snenking, your self knowledge. And Mangiti self knowledge, I'm not talking about self identification. I'm talking about self-knowledge. We have a problem with knowing the self. And knowing the self is the one thing that is necessary for human development and for human evolution. The fact that a lot of us are separated from the knowledge of self is our downfall and it is to our detriment because at the end of the day what ends up happening is that we fight for things that are not really worth fighting for we argue over issues that are not really worth arguing about we concern ourselves with issues that are so far removed from us that we fail to tackle the immediate issues in front of us. But what do we suffer from fear? Fear of the unknown, fear of success, fear of liberation, fear of freedom, fear of expression. We suffer a lot of fears and all these fears are created at some point or another, either by a parent, either by an experience, either by a community, either by a school or whatever encounter you come across. But we are a society of scared people. We are so afraid, Singaband. And our fear causes us to suppress the expression of who we are. Our fears cause us to suppress the self to the point that we end up forgetting, to the point that we end up not remembering where was the last time. I asked a few people this question recently. Oguti, when was the last time you were yourself? And for most of them, the answer was, what are you talking about? I am myself. But the question I still stood, when was the last time you were yourself? It's a weird question to be asked. But what's even stranger is the lack of answer to said question. But we're to, instead of concerning ourselves with so many things, that are really unnecessary to our evolution, I think we should start by introspecting and finding that which we are before we can project that which we hope to be. Because you cannot hope to be something without the fundamental base of who you are. 
Self-knowledge is our greatest power. Self-knowledge is our greatest advantage in any battle. In the art of war, Usanzu Uti never engage in war, in a battle, unless you know the strength, the full strength of your enemy, lest you find yourself overpowered. When you are weak, feign strength. When you are strong, feign weakness so that you level the playing field. That's the art of war, the formula to succeed, to succeed in any battle. But the biggest battle is against the self. We are fighting the people we see in the mirrors, our mirrors. We are like a baboon or a chimpanzee that sees itself in the mirror for the first time and wants to communicate with the other chimpanzee in the mirror. And when that chimpanzee is not responding but mimicking, this one gets angry at Kalam Shai. Have Pavlov. Have we proven Pavlov right? That you can actually condition the mind of man to responses? Hence the subliminal messages on TV, radio. Hence the messages and whatever we do that is influenced by external stimulus. Where did we lose the self and how do we regain knowledge of the self? Because everyone has a different answer to that question. I may have lost myself the day you kid young dump. I thought she was my world. Omunya may have lost themselves the first day a puzi plekli a puzu chual. Or a hansa or a castle or a strong bow. The first time I started to drink alcohol was the time I lost my life. Omunya is the day I started to smoke in yaup. Omunye is the first day I started to watch porn. Omunye is the day I lost my mother, I lost my father, I lost my friend. Omunye is when I lost my dog. So I'm going to leave that answer to you. But the question is, when did we lose the self? How did we lose the self? And what will it take to regain the self? In English, let us examine our ways and investigate our hearts. Let us ask ourselves the important questions that need to be asked. Why did I do what I did yesterday? And if you cannot answer yourself, Tim, don't do it again. You have no reason for doing it. Don't do it again. If you cannot substantiate the reasons why you are pushing an existence in a certain direction, quit. Yeah, stop wasting your own time. If your whole being, yourself, is in conflict with yourself, stop it. Let's start by listening to that still silent voice within us. If you want to say it's God, it's up to you. If you want to say Unembeza, it's up to you. If you want to say it's Superman, it's up to you. If you want to say it's Tony Stark, Captain America, Nalapo Gugue. But what is it that drives you? Who are you? Ausbuze Lombuz. And long as booze in passing, because you are going to get passing answers. Who are you? What I mean, and who's is who's he done it now? My point proven. Nibuzu andil. Who are you? Umchelang and what does France? Let's ask ourselves that question and take time to answer it. Ungubani. Mtambi natik mele sifane na mwa wakanda. Sorama tatula. 
But it's knowledge of self that's important. Knowledge of self that's important. Who are you? Because if you can answer that question, you'll be able to appreciate who I am. Nyabong.